Hey guys, D Mike here. Hope you're ready for another cool cash sesh. Cool cash. Sounds like I said cool cat. Cool cash sesh. We're gonna have some fun today. You may be wondering why are we in the town shop? We weren't here last time. Did a little bit of a jump cut, flash forward. Had to get some financial situation in order because we need to get a couple items. We've been in the town shop before, but they didn't have the middle two inventory spots available. Now that they do, we can go ahead and buy the two items that we actually need in order to progress. First stop, the deluxe shovel. Quite expensive. And next, some bombs. In this day and age, there's nothing better than selling explosives to children. So, opening up the subspace menu, we get the shovel. You can throw it on X or Y, your choice. Start digging some holes. We're like a gosh dang Stanley Yownitz. I don't know if that's a reference everybody will get, but if you do, kudos. If not, go read a book. So, in the last episode, Two episodes ago. Was it last episode? I don't know. We rescued Bow Wow from the Moblin King. That's episode two. I'm dating myself a little bit. So we rescued Bow Wow from the Moblin King. Did a little bit of vigilante justice. So it's time to take him home. I'm sure Madame Meow Meow has been missing Bow Wow ever so much. Now, ma'am, don't worry about it, we're a hero. Heroes don't need rewards. Oh, okay. Oh, that's adorable, look at that. Nice little kiss blown our way for helping our friend Bow Wow out. So once you return Bow Wow, that is the end of the road for yours and his rampage. He'll be guarding Mabe Village and scaring the bejesus out of everybody for the rest of his days. Now, if you remember, when we finished the second dungeon, we had some visions, some omniscient force telling us that we needed to head towards the prairie. In order to do that, you're going to want to go east out of Mabe Village, walk past this very curious pedestal, We'll worry about that later. Dodge the crabs. Looks like the bee's knees. All right, so let's actually deal with this guy right here. They can get kind of annoying when you're low on health and you're just trying to make your make your make your living. So we got a cracked moblin skull here. Must have been some large creature back in the day, or maybe some artwork. Place a bomb near it. And kaboom! Alright, so now we can progress. You actually do need bombs for that, you can't get through this area without it. Um, sir. Alright. Nobody, not even a crazy mushroom villain with bombs is gonna blow me up on my watch. Or maybe he is and I'm just gonna take it. Let's head inside here real quick and see what uh, this telephone tells us to do. I don't know how you say that. Old man Orira. That just doesn't vibe well with my mail. Have you met everyone on the island? Richard? Richard? Pothole Field, southeast of the village. Pay him a, village. a visit. I think we can do that. We're always up to make friends. And this dick fella sounds like a nice guy. Why not? Everybody likes to spend time with a nice dick. So let's head down here, past this field of crops. What does this say? Canalay Castle, that way. We might wind up there eventually. What about this? R Richard's, well, would you look at that? Richard's Villa. So, this azure-haired gentleman is Richard in his majestic outfit. He's got some uh, 
some ribbity friends hippity hopping all around his place. Now, I'm sure this reference gets brought up every single time that somebody plays Link's Awakening. Uh, there actually was a game that this Richard is from. I believe in English it's for... For, so for whom the bell tolls something about frogs? I don't know. It was a Japanese title. And for some reason, I believe the team that was working on it, I think it's for Frog the Bell Tolls. I don't know. If I'm wrong, you can correct me. And he was in it. And the team working on that also worked on Link's Awakening. So they decided to put him in as a bit of an homage, which is kind of cool. And he does have some panache. So look at that. Salutations. Used to live in the castle. Um, that's kind of scary if you think about it. His servants went berserk. Retrieve the golden leaf I left behind the castle. Um, okay. Well, that's a little cryptic. Weird. Okay. So we're sent on a sub-quest to go to the castle. Get some leaves. Richard's a cool guy. There's also a piece of heart there. We'll come back to get that later. Not uh, always a fan of doing someone's chores, but... He seems like a nice enough guy that we can help him out. Why not? Oh. Well, who could this be? All right, I love that. Um, as somebody who was a big fan of Super Monkey Ball growing up, uh, that sound effect kind of reminds me of that. So if you remember, we gave the dog food to that crazy alligator who traded us bananas. So we do have a pack of bananas and Kiki, the monkey, loves bananas. Now, this exchange is not one-sided. Kiki is going to invite his friends, or her friends, I'm not sure. And they're going to repay us. We're getting lots of favors done and lots of great repayment in this episode. Look at that. Kiki and their four monkey friends have given us a way into the castle. So unfortunately, with this castle, trying to breach the walls is not something you can do. We're not going to be able to make it in from the front, so we're going to have to go in the back door. Nothing wrong with playing on the back porch, huh? Let's go ahead and check the f telephone booth one more time. Try bombing suspicious places. Well, thankfully, we have nine more bombs to deal with. Slashing away. That bush gets us into the secret entrance. All right. What's nice about um, stomping on Goombas is you usually get hearts, which is convenient. So if you're low on hearts, it's a good source of health regeneration. Okay, so this is a bit of a puzzle. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with it, you're going to have to get those five golden leaves, right? And then the way to do that is... Um, there's various methods. There are actually five different ways that you're going to be picking these up. This is one of them, and one of the most uh, frustrating, in my opinion, is this guy. He is also a fan of explosives. You gotta be quick. And get to him before he ducks away into the hole. Little whack-a-mole game here. So you put him in his place, collect your first golden leaf. Very nice. The castle is guarded by soldiers who are a bit of an upgraded threat from the Moblin. But they're dispatched the same way. Their AI has the same pathing and the same attack scheme. So nothing to, to worry about. Let them run into you. Give them a couple thwacks. Boom, done. It's advisable that you try to take advantage of these guys and take them out here because in order to make progress and get the other gold leaf, them being in the way is kind of frustrating. So 
So killing that bird gets us another. So Richard actually sent us on a on another mission to dispatch wildlife in Koholan Island. I don't know what's up with everybody here encouraging us to kill things, doing their dirty work for them. All right, so I believe this is a bubble where if it hits you, you'll take damage. A certain item later on in the game will allow you to change those bubbles into a fairy, which is pretty nice. But that's a long way away. Killing the two knights and the, and the gel gets you our third golden leaf. Making some crazy progress, everybody. So we need two more. Nothing we can't handle. Come on. Uh, sir. Thank you. Have ourselves a Switch here. A Nintendo Switch, get it? And a Guardian Acorn. That actually could be pretty useful. Let's us come in the front now. We can leave at our leisure. Now actually getting a Guardian Acorn right there could be super good with what I'm about to do if it lets me keep it. So... Yes, okay. So let's make... Let's make haste! That guy with the mace is dangerous. Set down some bombs. All right. No. Thank you. Golden leaf. Number four. Unamas. Ah, no. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit harder, unfortunately. This mini boss, it's not really a mini boss, I don't know. Little obstacle in the way. It's kind of frustrating if you're doing a low heart run or if you're just clumsy like me. Um, anything's possible when you are inept at video games. Okay, so. So, he's gonna be swinging his mace around, which does a ton of damage. You can hit him with bombs, that's good too. But not too bad. Pretty easy to dispatch if you use explosives. So, we did it everybody. All five golden leaves, leaves. I'm not entirely sure what that said, actually. We can hop down here. Head out the front door. So we're, we'll, we'll make our swift getaway. Back to Richard. Back to Richard. Richard Croissant. I don't know if he's meant to be French or not, but... That's just kind of the vibe that I got with his cape and his... His ass. Okay. Let's see if, uh, what kind of reward Richard's gonna give us. This episode's all about rewards. See, he is French, I was right. Très bien. Très bien. Sacré bleu. So let's go ahead and move this frog statue. My French is a little rusty, and by a little rusty, I mean very rusty and horrific. So for any of you French viewers now or in the future, I apologize immensely for butchering your beautiful language. Another secret seashell. I believe that's our third. So Richard gives us access to the pothole yard here. which has a couple of very interesting and highly useful things there for us. Now the gimmick to this area is that most of the spaces in here are going to be potholes. You will fall into them if you're not careful. You can hack and slash away. The goal is to get up to there where that owl is, but there's a secondary objective that we have. If you remember, 
when we walked past earlier, we did our nice little flyby. Oh, oh no! Ugh. I told myself I wasn't going to do that. And then I done did it. Twice. Okay. So this time I'm actually going to have to do it on purpose. And again. Alright, so I think I could get this. Maybe. If I time this right. Or not. Okay. Um, I'm going to try it one more time. If I hit the button correctly, I'm going to try it one more time correctly. Ah, look at that. Look at that MLG Pro move, guys. You're in good hands. Okay. Definitely not at somebody that just got incredibly lucky. So you can jump over two holes. Once you got the rock's feather. So if you remember, I said one of the vital items that we needed to progress was the shovel. Now, why do we need the shovel? So this creepy statue lights up. And it tells us that something beneath our souls is in the soil. Let's dig it up. Would you look at that? The key! So now that we've got the slime key, you can open the gate on the prairie. Very nice. And Richard was kind enough to put a rock here that lets us just make a quick escape. And in doing so, we can plug the key right in. Kind of looks like Mike from Monsters, Inc. With a tumor on his head. Dungeon number numero trace or... Uh, num number 12? I don't know. Numero... I don't know. I don't even remember. I took French in high school and I couldn't remember a lick of it. I know that trois is three. Un, deux, trois. My French teacher would be so disappointed if she, in some alternate universe, was watching me fail horrifically in this episode. My apologies, madame. So, third dungeon unlocked. Slime key inputted into the slime cave. And we'll be ready to tackle that next time. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Hope you had a great time. I know I did. I'll see you then. Bye.